Good evening. I'm Chanel of Yoko Title Expert and owner of Wisdom and Authority Title Solutions. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Tonight, I will be talking about the differences between Manufacturer Certificate of Origins or MCO for short and Certificate of Titles. Uh, I want to say that both are different, so I will highlight each one uh, individually and I will share how they both impact uh, the auto title process. So first of all, this document here is a Manufacturer Certificate of Origin or MCO for short. This is the standard color. It's a brown cream. So again, this is pretty much standard across the board in terms of how uh, MCOs look. Um, an MCO is essentially a birth certificate for a brand new vehicle. Okay, uh, brand new vehicles receive this type of document. They are legal documents and they come from the manufacturer. Um, this particular one that I have in my hand um, is from the Ford manufacturer. This is a Ford vehicle here. So at the bottom of the MCO, and I have the section blotted out for privacy purposes, of course, um, a Ford dealership uh, received uh, this MCO from the Ford manufacturer. Okay. In turn, this Ford dealership will um, be able to sell this vehicle. This brand new vehicle um, is being sold from the Ford dealership and the Ford dealership can either um, sell to another dealer or they can sell to a prospective uh, customer. Okay, most of the time, um, MCOs, you know, do go directly to the customer, but there are uh, some cases where a dealership may resale to another dealer. Okay, um, on the back of the MCO, there are reassignment sections that the dealer and the buyer uh, will sign off on accordingly. If there is a lien, um, the bottom section as well will be filled out pertaining to the lien and the odometer section above that as well. So this is the back of the uh, MCO of how it will look. So with that being said, the MCO is uh, very critical to the title process because it starts the title process. All MCOs um, are converted to certificate of titles. So if you're buying a brand new vehicle, your vehicle um, title will not look like this. This is being converted to a certificate of title. And once you pay the vehicle off, uh, you will get the title in question if you had a lien on it, okay? So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, MCO start the title process, uh, but they're not the they're not a uh, certificate of title. They are different in that aspect, okay? Uh, moving on, this here is a PA certificate of title. Now, when it comes to a certificate of title, the difference is that on the front, uh, the owner's name is already on the front in terms of the buyer, okay? Whoever would have had that versus the MCO at the bottom, it goes directly to uh, the dealership. So with this PA title here, we would have the owner uh, at the top and then uh, the reassignment information happens on the back of the um, PA title. In this example here, they will sign off accordingly. Uh, PA titles are very weird <laughs> because they, also go from the front and the back so you have other sections at the bottom in this example here that would have been filled out yeah pa i don't know why their titles are this way they have section d at the bottom which you know i'm thinking it should be on the back but that's not how pa do their titles very strange um but on the back of the title again um the buyer and the dealer reassign off on the title accordingly if there is a lien, uh, in this case of PA, the lien will be uh, recorded on the front of the title. All right, very important. 
So the certificate of title um, in terms of the process actually starts the title trail once the MCO is uh, transferred over into a certificate of title, the title trail essentially starts. A title is reproduced based on that state in which the MCO would have been uh, submitted to. So let's just say as an example, if this MCO was submitted to a PA, then you would have had a PA certificate of title um, to get started regarding the title trail. Now, um, if someone decides to retitle this vehicle and they go to another state, then you would take this PA uh, certificate of title. Let's say you're going to uh, West Virginia, you would take this PA certificate of title and transfer it to the state of West Virginia, and in turn, you would get a West Virginia certificate of title. So the MCO starts the title process, but the certificate of title continues the title process in ways of the title trail. It continues to go uh, on and on and on until that vehicle is taken out of commission, okay? Um, one of the things I wanna share pertaining to MCOs is that if you do not uh, take your certificate of origin to the DMV, this will impact the title record. A title record would not be created nine times out of 10 if there's no MCO. Uh, sometimes DMV may have to uh, generate a VIN um, if there is no type of record at all for that vehicle. Uh, if there is never an MCO out there, they may have to go to that uh, type of uh, recourse but if you do not submit that MCO so that a title can be generated, then nothing is gonna happen regarding a title record being established. Um, a lot of times um, I've seen uh, folks that may have bought a trailer because trailers also get MCOs. So if you go to Lowe's um, and you get a trailer, you will get an MCO um, like this as well. So some people may not think that um, trailers uh, don't need to be titled. Now, depending on your state, that might be the case. But if you were given an MCO for that trailer, you want to get it titled. If you choose not to do that, then, you know, the title record uh, will be impacted. Okay. So um, I hope uh, this information was very valuable to you tonight pertaining to um, MCOs and certificate of titles and how they can impact the um, auto title process. If you have any questions about MCOs or certificate of titles, or maybe you lost your MCO or your certificate of title, please visit me and my team at wisdomandauthority.com or drop me a line below. Please check me out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Click share and subscribe below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to hear from you soon.